Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil, and today I'll be talking about my new open source project, DeviceCrawlUp.js. It's a jQuery plugin that you can use in your website and blog to create a scroll to top button like this at the corner of your page that appears when you scroll down and when you click on it, it disappears. The project documentation is present on dyclassroom.com. I will give the link in the description so please check that out so let's get started all right the first thing we need is to download the project for this you have to go to my github profile i'll give the link in the description and click on this repositories link then you can either search the project by writing dy scroll up js and then click on the project once you're in the project you need to go to this release link and click on it and you will get the latest release version go to the download section and click on this source code zip this will download the zip file now we will go ahead and unzip this downloaded file And inside this folder, we can see we have a CSS folder containing the style sheets, an image folder containing all the images, and we have a JS folder containing the JS file, and we have an index.html and index.configure.html file. These are two examples. So Let's open the first one. And as you scroll down, you can see we have a scroll to top button. Index.configured. This is configured and it has a square button. All right. Next, we'll learn how to use this plugin in our project all right so i have a sample block project on my desktop and if i open this up you can see we have a css folder containing bootstrap and a block.css style sheet and inside the js folder we have a jquery main.js file and bootstrap js files and inside this plugins folder i have placed the device crawler js plugin and its respective files and we have this index.html file which I'll open up and this is a sample blog template using bootstrap I will give the link of this blog template in the description so please check that out now we will be including the scroller button on the right side and on the left side all right let me go ahead and open this project in sublime text you can use any other text editor you want or IDE so we have the blog project containing the CSS folder JS folder and the plugins folder and we have the index.html file now if you open this up you can see we have some HTML we have in the head tag included the bootstrap.main.css style sheet and blog.css style sheet. And if we scroll down, you can see we have included jQuery.main.js file, which is inside the JS folder. And then we have included the bootstrap JavaScript file, which is also inside the JS folder. Now to create the scroller button, for this index.html file, we first need to include the style sheet of device crawler.js in the head tag. Now, if you look inside the plugins folder, inside the device crawler.js folder, we have this CSS folder containing device crawler.main.css file. 
So we need to include this file in the head tag. So let me go ahead and write link href plugins device scroll up js css device scroll up dot min dot css and set rel to style sheet and save now scroll down and after including the jquery.min.js file we need to include the javascript file of device scroll up js which is inside this js folder so we need to include this device scroll up.min.js file after including the jquery file so we'll write script src plugins device scroll up js js folder device scroll up dot min dot js file and hit save now to create the scroll up button we will go inside this js folder inside the block project and we'll create a default.js file. Now inside this file, we are going to call the init method of device scroll up. So for this we'll write device scroll up dot init and we'll pass in a an object as an argument this object will have some key value pairs which will be used to configure the scroller button so the first property that we are going to set is show after and we'll set this to 600 this is in pixels and it means that after we have scrolled 600 pixels down the scroller button will appear next we'll set scroll delay and we'll set this to 1000 this is in milliseconds and it is used to create a smooth scroll up effect next will set position this can take two values left and right we'll set it to right and then we'll set image that we want to use so this will take the path of the image now inside the plugins folder device scroll up .js folder we can see we have this image folder containing some images so we'll use this 32.png file so we'll write plugins device scroll up js image 32. Dot png next we'll set the shape and we'll set this to circle and then we are going to set the width and height of the button so for this we'll write width and we'll set this to 30 and height and we'll set this to 30 and we'll save this file 
Now we'll go back to index.html file and after including device scrollup.min.js file, we'll include the default.js file which is inside the JS folder. So we'll write JS default.js and we'll save this file. Now let us go ahead and reload this index.html file in the browser. So we'll hit reload and if we scroll down, we'll see the scroller button appeared. Now if we click on this, it will disappear. Now if you want this scroller button to be at the left side, all we have to do is go back to our code inside this default.js and set the position to left and save the file. Now we go back to index.html file and reload the page and now if you scroll down we can see the button is at the left side. So if we click on this it will take us back to the top. Now if we want to use some other image we'll go back to default.js file and maybe this time we can use this 48 red so we'll write 48 dash red and save now if we go back to our index.html file and reload and as we scroll down we can see a red button clicking on it it will get us back to the top of the page now what if we want a custom shape for the button. For this we have to set shape to other and this time we'll use 36.png which is a square image and save. Now if we open this index.html file and reload the page we can see we have a square button. Alright guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you will find this video interesting and my project helpful. If you want the project documentation, it is there on my website dyclassroom.com. I will put the link of this documentation in the description. So please check that out. If you want the project code, it is there on my GitHub repository. The link will be there in the description. And if you think this video is interesting and helpful, then please give this video a like and subscribe my channel because I make new videos every week. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.